السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, hello everyone and welcome again to another video tutorial on how to estimate earnings management using accrual models. At this time, I will focus on the modified Jones model. How to estimate the modified Jones model using Stata program. Firstly, let's have a look at the modified Jones model and identify our variables which we need to estimate the modified Jones model. The modified Jones model simply is a regression model which total accruals is dependent variable while one divided by total assets is the first independent, the second independent is delta revenues minus delta receivables divided by total assets. And the third independent is property, plants, and equipments divided by lag total assets. And the last term here is the error term, which is the proxy for earnings management. Simply, the regression will estimate will estimate discretion total accruals will estimate total accruals based on some explanatory variables, which one divided by like total assets and delta revenues minus delta receivables divided by like total assets, property plans and equipments divided by like total assets. According to this estimation there is an error term will be calculated which represents the abnormal accruals here which is our proxy for earnings management we or i try to make a do file for you using stata all you need to do is to it changed the names of the variables because I'm using my uh, own names here. Just change uh, the names of the variables according to your data set and run the do file and all your variables which you need to calculate the modified Jones model will be calculated in a second or few seconds. Just to give you a brief an idea about this, uh, in order to do the calculations you have to run the xt set command xt set command requires two variables which firm identifier and year this here is the classification of your industry and we only use this to run the cross-sectional regression and i will run the cross-sectional regression in this regard because the normal regression it's very easy and just all you have to do is to run the reg command uh, for uh, for the xt set we know we need two things which is uh, identifier for the firm and identifier for the year uh, egen is the command to identify your uh, firm identifier and all you need to do is to change the names in color here and leave the blue because it's related to stata for example egen use your or name for firm identifier followed by equal leave equal group and between brackets between practices uh, use your firm column which represents the firm identifier and to set your data as a panel data to allow stata to calculate the variables easily use this command as i said xt set firm identifier year comma yearly and to calculate the deltas you should uh, run the command generate generate your variable name followed by d dot 
and followed by accounts receivables from your data set and you do all the same here just all you have to do is to change the names to change the names according to your variable names uh, just I'd like to mention uh, to jump here to the lag total assets uh, to calculate the lag total assets generate lag total assets equal equal to uh, L small dot total assets from your variable list and the first one here which I am highlighting now is the balance sheet approach to calculate total accruals and also I will leave this I will leave the whole do file for you just to use it but I'm focusing now on the cash flow approach to calculate total accruals which equal to net income before tax minus cash flow from operating activities divided by lag like total assets in order to estimate the modified Jones model we need uh, four main terms just here I wrote three terms which is independent the independent variables and uh, we need the dependent which total accrues divided by lag like total assets Okay, now for term one, one divided by lag like total assets, it's here one divided by lag like total assets. Uh, for term two, it's delta receivables or delta debtors minus delta, uh, sorry, delta revenues minus delta debtors or delta receivables divided by lag like total assets. And it's the second independent here, delta revenues minus delta receivables divided by uh, total assets or lagged total assets uh, total assets for the previous year uh, the last the last one here is term three which is uh, property plans and equipments I'm using fixed assets here divided by lagged total assets which is the last independent uh, now let's go back to stata open the do file and let's show you the data editor just to make sure now the last column here is the institutional institutional ownership I'm using my data set in order to show you how to calculate my own data set which I am examining or I'm still studying but just I'd like to share with you what I have done in order to benefit some of you also in order to get some feedback if someone notices something just please leave a comment if you are asking or if you are giving feedback just leave a comment and I will reply as soon as I have time for that. Uh, now let's go to the do file and let's run our do file and see the calculation of the variables. Now all done in a few seconds all calculations have been done last one here is the term 3 which is property plans and equipment divided by lagged like total assets it's very easy uh, now let's go to the Jones model this is the Jones model the Jones model 
all you have to do to run the Jones model cross-sectionally matched by industry and year is to copy and paste this code copy and paste this code and change your variable names for example generate Jones 1995 total accruals approach to this is my own name just you have to use any name you like followed by equal and dot and then for value y equal this is my range of years I'm using data from 2006 up to 2015 and for value i equal one between brackets one nine I'm using industries from one to nine nine industries and followed by this type of brackets uh, also you have to write display i display y and try to copy and paste them uh, don't use the keyboard because the 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 front tick and the back tick might be a little bit confusing and the regression will not run in in some cases just copy and paste the, these i have another vid videos about how to write uh, the front uh, tick and back tick and you can see that uh, just in case uh, now this is the regression regression total accruals two i'm using total accruals two and it's divided by lag total as just make sure here is to use total accruals divided by lag total assets because already here I already here use total accruals divided by like total assets you can see here total accruals I scaled total accruals by lag total assets so the first variable which is the dependent is total accruals divided by lag total assets term one we can remember that it's one divided by lag total assets term 2 it's delta revenues minus delta receivables divided by like total assets term 3 it's property plants and equipments divided by like total assets and just follow the code the code here and change your industry code there is no need to change year it's keep year the same uh, comma no constant keep it the same replace keep the same Jones model change according to your variable name equal R if I equal equal industry code this is your name and keep the rest the same drop R and close those parentheses and then run the regression and see how easy how easy the calculation of earning risk management using stata and using this do file now let's go to stata the main view do file now let's run the do file and see okay we have a problem here variable jones and it is not found okay just maybe I put the mouse in the wrong place now let's try now you can see all done in a few seconds and let's go now to our data editor and see the last column which is the modified Jones model 1990 1995 matched by industry and year and you can use this <coughs> as a variable in your main model for your study as a proxy for earning risk management and it's the assigned value of discretionary accruals you can also use the absolute value of discretionary accruals using 
generate command just you can write it generate just choose any name refers to absolute discretionary accruals for example absolute value of VA discretionary accrual equal to absolute between brackets and go to our last variable which we have calculated and put it and enter now we calculated the absolute value of this all discretionary accruals here it's very easy in this time I showed you how to calculate the modified Jones model uh, in the next video inshallah I will show you how to calculate uh, the Kothari model 2005 which is the uh, performance matched mo model uh, 2005 using because in addition to this uh, Kothari used uh, returns of uh, returns on assets uh, as uh, independent variables independent variable as well also uh, I will show you uh, how to calculate Ball and Shiva Kumar's model which is which considered the asymmetric recognition of gains and losses proposed by Shiva Kumar 2006 uh, thank you for watching I hope this video was uh, helpful to some of you if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and share my videos uh, and support my channel because these videos are uh, totally free and there is no money or subscription required to watch the videos just all I need from you is to support the channel and thank you if you have any questions any feedback leave a comment I will get back to you as soon as possible and thank you again for watching Abu Bakr Muhammad from Libya